Right then, you horrible lot. This week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft, I've got a little bit of science for you. How does Hop Up work? Now, we all know that Hop Up adds backspin to a BB to make it go further, but there's science afoot. You see, the effect that keeps the BB flying straight and true is called the Magnus effect. As a BB or any cylindrical spinning object passes through the air, it creates air current. Air moving along with the spin of the BB's travel faces less resistance and following the spin passes the current around towards the opposite back side. This creates a difference in pressure, which causes the object to veer towards the area of low pressure. In airsoft, the hop-up backspin is said to create an area of lower pressure above the BB. In a correctly set hop unit, as the BB loses its initial power from being fired, the Magnus effect becomes stronger, causing the BB to veer up. This allows the BB to fly further along a straight line, as in essence, the BB generates some of its own lift. In an incorrectly set hop-up unit, the pressure is either too much, which causes the Magnus effect to become too strong and cause the BB to rise up too fast too soon, or, as is more often the case, is set too low or completely off, which causes the Magnus effect to be too weak to generate sufficient lift and the BB will fall short before its maximum potential range. Bonus bit of history for you. The Magnus effect was first described by Sir Isaac Newton, that apple nutting chap, in 1672 in relation to tennis. But the name Magnus comes from some German fellow called Magnus, funnily enough, who described the effect in 1852. Now, going back to airsoft, if we take the whole thing one step further, this means that an airsoft gun held at anything other than a perfect horizontal will cause the BB to spin up to one side. And more so, it is theoretically possible in holding a gun with the hop incorrectly adjusted to a higher setting and the gun held to one side, to shoot round corners and even perhaps in holding an airsoft gun upside down to potentially shoot an enemy a little way back from behind cover. Now I've no experience with this in airsoft, but in paintball revolving hop-up units do exist and can be used with a bit of practice to great effect. Not sure if this would take away from airsoft somewhat if we all start bending bullets like in that movie Wanted. I know a lot of people out there go for the milsip factor of things, but it's certainly food for thought. Anyway, that's how Hop Up works. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful and it helps you shoot straight and true at your next airsoft game. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more airsoft tips, tricks, reviews and how-tos. Back to what you were doing. That is.